Hello wonderful viewer, you're welcome to the show It's Heartbeat. I'm glad that you are part of this amazing live show on TV. How grateful to see you watching already on set, enjoying that amazing drum coming in from Jennifer Lopez. Beautiful one, I like it. Well, they say never be too busy for the people you love. Never take pursuits or possessions, bigger priorities in your relationship. So, that's so amazing. Well, love gives the meaning to life, so never lose out that. Well, Heartbeat is a love show that um, gives you a platform for those who are single and searching. It's a beautiful one for those who enjoy amazing music. We take you into countries and slow jams to relax yourself, your mind. I mean, you might have had a long day, but hey, we are here to give you the best fully packed for you amazing stuff you have any issues in your relationship too bad we are here to be mediocre to play that part make sure you send us or give us your issue probably have something that is disturbing you in your relationship and you'd love us to discuss about it find a solution this is the show for you well it is there to give you the best we solve the issue we try to make sure you sustain that relationship or you have it probably whoever falls in love would love to hold that marriage or that relationship for some good time but it becomes very sad if um, you don't even reach your expectations we are here to just help you have a wonderful relationship yes we also rejoice with you in your relationship probably you have a surprise birthday party I mean, you threw a birthday party for your boyfriend, girlfriend, and you want us to be part of it. You help us and give us a call. Tell us where the party is going to be and when we shall be part of that party and show the world that you are happily in a relationship. Well, um, if you have um, an engagement party, you're throwing um, a baby shower, bridal shower, yes. We can also air that amazing function that contribute a lot for this relationship to last just for the betterment of your relationship to show the world that yes you're not doing bad well that show has all that so you want to the right show right about now my name is Judy and I'm glad to be here well at this moment um, I normally um, try to engage you through a letter but hey before I do that we normally fall in love, yes, but which kind of love would anyone love to involve himself in? That's an amazing relationship whereby you all connect, you love each other, you have the best, you go out together. I mean, who doesn't love such amazing things? Well, we fall in love for different reasons. Others would love to pass by, then others would love to have the best, and then I don't know how to define the rest, but um, at least I've defined the two of them. Well, unfortunately, things may not turn out the way you expected, and they fall apart, and others have it amazingly planned, even if you didn't know whether to work out or not. Well, this is something that is not so different from the love letter we have today. I mean, it goes into line with the kind of letter we have today. Others fall so much, you have this urge and the guts, even have all the nerves to give in the whole of your body to someone just because you're in love. You don't care about the time, the, the, the time you quoted, probably caught shipping, but um, so as long as you have the feelings for someone, you try your level best to make the other party feel happy. But where are you left? I mean, how best have you enjoyed it and how far is it going to last? That's what we are asking. Well, before I sneak into our letter for today, we have our Facebook page, Record TV Heartbeat. We have our WhatsApp number 0758448577. You have anything, an opinion, suggestion, anything, tips, please reach us on that number by sending either a WhatsApp message or just a message. We shall receive it and we will air it live on air. Right about now, why don't we go in for a letter? Because that's the reason we have heartbeat onto 
our TV station. Right about now, let's enjoy this letter. When I come back, we shall explain more about the letter and find the way we can help this person who is into the problem. been dating a guy for about three weeks and usually meet once a day. He usually texts all throughout the day, all sorts of texts, happy things, stuff that upsets him about his job, question about my day, nasty texts, etc. When we go out, it's amazing, like I found someone who really, really gets me and he said the same. I was very happy with the way things were progressing. He was a very introverted person who suffers from depression and migraines, so I know he has off days. I tried to give him space, and I was really excited when he invited me over to his house to watch a movie. A lot of our texting had become pretty sexual at this point, so I was pretty sure that it would happen when I come over, and it did. Once at night, and again in the morning, we chatted a bit, and then I hit the road. When I said goodbye, he gave me a kiss, but flashed me an almost pitting look. Still, I tried to ignore my gut. After all, we had had sex like 10 minutes earlier, and after we did, he took me out back to show me his pride and joy, a shed he's building. Later that day, in about five hours, I texted him a funny reference to a movie we watched the previous night and got no response. So around 9.30 that night, maybe 12 hours after I last saw him, I text to say I've noticed you haven't been responding like you usually do. Is everything okay? Just asking in to make sure you didn't get trapped under a pile of wood while building your shed thinking maybe he had a migraine or was depressed and might want to talk about it, as he has done before. I figured something was wrong but didn't press him. It's now been more than 24 hours since I last sent that text. There has been a dead silence on his end. I don't understand. Obviously, I'm not going to text him at least for a week. Despite the fact that I've known this guy for about only a month, we clicked really well and I really, really liked him, so I am a mess. I'm worried that I did something wrong, or far worse, that I was simply used for sex, which really would be surprising since he was emotionally vulnerable after we had sex that night. In the morning, I could tell something was off, but it is as if something went wrong during the 15 minutes between getting out of bed and into my car. Do I just give up and move on? It seems like maybe he's just pretty good at pretending to be vulnerable and open, while his end game was just to have sex and kick me to the curb. I feel totally used, and that is a terrible feeling. So heartbeat, is he ghosting? Is there somewhere to correct the situation? If this is just the way he is, it's pretty immature and is not someone I want to be with anyway. But he wasn't like this at all until I left his place that morning. What is going on? And should I text him again at some point, like next week? If so, what should I say? Thanks. Please help. My name is Mary. That's Mary over there. She's crying about dating someone for some short time. She gave in and then later the boy disappeared. I don't know whether it disappeared or was disappointed. You know, also having these too, too much expectations. I mean, you expect a lot from someone you've just met. I don't know, dating for just a month and then you give in and thereafter you get disappointed. Well, there's this quote that I want to share with you. They say, love everything about your, your spouse. 
Don't take shortcuts. Do not settle for just coasting by. The journey ahead might be difficult sometimes, but you will go through anything if you choose to face it together. Have faith and never give up on each other. Well, I don't know whether that quote could go in line with this kind of later, but I love it that way. I mean, if you pick a leaf, it's very amazing, can um, help you move on in your relationship that you're holding right, right about now. Back to the letter. Mary is crying. She feels embarrassed right about now that she gave in, she moved. I, I don't know. She had to go visit the boyfriend in, in three weeks. I mean, you met like three weeks back. And then the third week, you're invited, probably. And your boyfriend is home, watch a movie. And um, somehow, somewhere, you become intimate. You make love. Let me say it like that. You make love. And then suddenly you think maybe um, this is, you've, you've reached the top of the world whereby your boyfriend is going to love you more because you would think maybe you've given in too much and then um, he's, he has enjoyed, he's so surprised, he loves it and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it becomes the opposite. So she left. The, the, the boyfriend is home, probably in her time of living, the guy gave him this pity look. I mean, she sensed maybe something might be wrong. But anyway, she ignored and went back home, tried to send texts to the boyfriend, and doesn't give her a deaf ear. I mean, as if he does not receive the texts and does not reply at all. Very, very bad. I mean, how would you... How would you have be with someone probably a week back and then after some days, you even don't want to communicate? That means you aren't impressed. So she feels somehow embarrassed and disappointed, like she gave in to a person who does not love her. However much at the beginning, she told us that they were in love. They loved each other. I mean, you know, love was just in the air. And she thought probably going and knowing this guy deeper would... Um, Increase the love somehow, somewhere, would actually top onto their kind of relationship. First of all, it's a new relationship. In just a month, you're just getting to know someone and then you're giving. Well, I find that as um, a, a small problem. But she wants to find out what could be the problem. Yes, she knew that the guy could actually suffer from migraines at times or depression. She understands. But... Um, it's now some time that has passed and uh, she tries to send messages. She's even tired. I mean, you also get tired if you send messages and someone does not reply or does not show you that is into that kind of relationship. She doesn't know what to do. She's engaging you, wonderful viewer, who is watching the show. How could you go about her situation? What do you want her to do so that she could act, either retain um, reunite probably with a boyfriend. She even doesn't know what she did wrong. Could there be anything bad about it? Did she do anything wrong and the boy does not just want to tell her anything? There are just questions that are rotating in her mind and she really doesn't know what to do. What do you think went wrong as you're a person who is watching the show? Let's try to gather opinions, advice, and find out the reason as to why this happened. And if she really wants the boyfriend, how best can she deal with this issue and probably um, get the relationship back, or get the boyfriend back, or reunite? Because this is what we also want. She's into love, she loves the guy so much. But again, if this is the way the guy is behaving, she vows not to engage herself with such a man. Yes, she understands she did a mistake, but now she can call off the relationship. If the guy is totally like this, she doesn't know. If there is any problem, that's what she's also interested in, solving the problem and make the relationship going well. Hit us on our Facebook page, the topic is already there. You can actually um, give us advice on how to go about, um, Mary to go about her relationship, how best she can actually do it, or how good, how sweet can she come in front of this boyfriend and the boyfriend appreciates the whole of her. Well, it's really too bad, very unfortunate that she's losing out a relationship that is still fresh. I know how it feels but we are helping her. We want to help her. Before the show ends, she would have gotten at least something to do to make sure she gets this guy back.
You can also send on our WhatsApp number 0758-448577. Send us a message. Tell us what you think about Mary's situation. And this is where we actually posed our question. We are asking how long, well, probably if you're seeing the topic right on your TV screen, we are asking how long should you, um, should you make love, kind of? Should you try to make love in a new relationship? How long do you think you're ready to involve yourself in such things, making love with your boyfriend in a new relationship? Could she have rushed to give in? Or it, it was just a disguise to a man. Maybe the man thought, ah, she's too cheap. I mean, how can I involve myself with such a girl? However much, he's the one who dragged her into this arc. <laughs> From the moment you start your day, we are here for you. As news breaks in, we give you the full story. Join me, Blessing Natrinda, on Record News every weekday at 9 p.m. Only on Record Television. This week on Record TV. Now here it is. sounds of Leona Lewis. Well, I love this song. It's very amazing. Well, she clearly tells it out to the ex that I'll live a better life without you. I'll live a better life. So that amazing song consoles you, Mary, just in case the relationship does not work out. It's a beautiful one coming in from Leona Lewis. Right at this particular moment, I'm joined by Liz, my co-host, and she's smartly dressed in white. Did you copy my color? I don't know, but at least I'm not smarter than you because of the <laughs> African look I love. Judy, you're smart. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you for tuning into the Heartbeat Show. Of course, the only love show that, that is always keeping you updated in love issues. I know. Very welcome. <laughs> and keep seated where you are, relax, because mm. we have everything that you're looking for right here. Well, it's amazing, and as we told you that we have an amazing topic that is derived from the letter of today, we are asking how long would you wait to make love in any new relationship, in any relationship that is new, probably you are into a new relationship, how long would you take, and how long are you going to wait to make love? Because we found out right in this letter that Mary wrote to us, it's like she rushed into making love with a boyfriend and which turned out to be a little bit pathetic. So I want um, Liz to derive right at that point. What do you make of the letter? What I make of the letter, um, especially, okay, like if I conclude all of it, summarize the whole letter, mm -hmm. I just see, uh, first of all, say this girl 
rushed. That is the first thing she rushed into. Sex. Let me call it that. So mm, for I like involved. the boldness. Yeah. <laughs> Sex. Because we can't say it's making love. If it was really making love, then it would both partners would still be together. No, we, we just covered the word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, so but I it think is actually having sex. Yeah. Because it they, was same I think she would, yeah, she rushed sex. into it. She rushed mm. into the sexual issue. Because one month, yeah? Yeah, one it's month. One, but one month. when they were but making three weeks, mm. that's when she visited the boyfriend, probably in an exchange of these amazing texts. Um, because there's somewhere she mentioned about texting. They used to text a lot, and their texts were too sexual somehow, mm, somewhere. Mm. So she, she knew it that probably if she vis visits the boyfriend, it was going to happen, and so it happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it happened. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, I think because you know this is an issue that is a physical. It's a physical attraction. It's, it's a physical pressure. Mm. I'm sure the guy, the guy was pushing more eh? he was so loving i'm sure if i ask what's the name of this lady mary mary if if, if i ask mary definitely even that's why the letter is there the way she was the relation the intimacy she had eh, mm. with the boy before they had their sexual togetherness mm. is different from how their relationship is now but the man ran fast. away she she's just so fast no she, she, she how would you be with someone for just a day and tomorrow does not want to even pick your calls oh my god I mean, the, the boy got what he wanted that is all <laughs> he had no emotional attachment with her yeah think. there's somewhere she mentioned that if this is the kind of man that i really want to engage myself mm. um it seems it's not right for me yeah. No, but if I just in case, mm, mm. but if I tell Mary to to backtrack and remember that the, her, her past uh, with this boy, I, I'm sure she used to almost run the relationship. She would tell him, "I want this," and he would do it. She would. She had the the way. She had the talk more than the boy because he had not gotten anything from her after getting what he wanted, and that that's it. He left. But the beginning, there's a way she mentioned about the boy having sent so many messages in the raw today tomorrow mm -hmm. telling her about how bad it was at work um what sh what he's doing at that particular moment i'm watching a movie probably they used to send messages and the man was too much into it and mm. she's asking herself why now oh my god mm. now mm, you know this um of course i will sex usually dominates our minds and and like it's something that dominates our even our dreams fantasies at night eh? But uh, not rushing into it, a month is really a short time. Rushing into mm. it is, is not really the, the answer to everything. Because you have given up your goods, and what you wanted to buy, you have already gotten. So there's nothing to keep chasing for. <laughs> what did you say? Good goods. <laughs> they are your goods. You hold them. They are yours. As long as you keep dangling the promise of, of, of sex in front of him, eh? mm. he will be there. He will be rolling to that... So the way you dangle, you take, go this side, he goes this side. But once you're done, he's done. Unless you understand each other, like you study each other, you mm. take time. That is substantial. It's really important in a relationship. If you're going to, after all, they say something worth having is worth waiting for. So I don't think it's really a big deal. I know. Rushing into it so that the man can love you. And that's a very common mistake. We usually tend to, women, we tend to go into, rush into that, thinking that the man is going to love us more. I don't know. How does it come about? Probably. How does it come about? Because they're the influencers. I mean, mm -hmm. if you don't want it to happen, it won't happen. But again, would you have it with someone you do not love? Yes. Okay, on the side of a man. How best do they do it anyway? You want to also <laughs> engage into the game. Would you sleep with someone whom you don't love? How does it happen? I know, like Julie, I know, that question you, you, you're tapping on always beats my understanding as well. I, I think know, about because it Because so I think it becomes very difficult for a person who has, who is loving, but I mean, you want me. to be trustworthy and mm. faithful. It would be very difficult for you to engage yourself with someone you don't love. Yes, you can date, mm. you can hang out. But going to bed together with someone you don't love, I, I, I don't see it happening anymore. And you know, there's girls, no rape here. Yeah, there's no rape. There's no one who has raped the other one. It's by force. No. Mm. You, 
literally allow it's a mutual understanding between the both of you you go lay yourselves down and that's it it happens and then afterwards trust me usually it's one partner complaining and it's usually the girl and you know why usually they say that when females uh, make love uh -huh. They, is it that uh, that hormone. I think you heard about it. That where they release a hormone called is it oxytocin or something that that uh, makes them attached eh, to the man. They, it's called. It makes it brings that attachment. You feel mm. that bond. Eh? So usually that's why you see. I think and I think you'll side with me that after sex usually the woman is done is now chasing after the man. The man will come chasing, but after it, the, it's the other way around. Are you for real? Trust me, it is very common, it's everywhere. And I think you know what I'm I talking mean, about. So there are some people out there. If you're so loving, wouldn't you want to be with that girl uh, another day? Yeah. More and course. more again? Of course. That's why I say in, in, if you don't rush. Yes. Because you will, you see, every relationship has a way it develops. Eh? I will not generalize that mm. it has to be a specific time period yes every relationship has the way it develops people have a way they understand each other that fast people have different understandings so you, at least but there's at least deep inside you 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 can feel that patience wait as long as you can at least as long as you can <sighs> yes. don't force yourself like let me do it because but it wasn't forcing because i remember there's somewhere she mentioned about she was eager you know mm. this guy invited her would you come over the weekend we watch a movie together and she was so much into it yes i'm going to visit <laughs> this man for the first time eh? yeah. and then reaching there of course shit happened <clears throat> shit <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah it, 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 it happened, happened. And, and she actually <laughs> loved it she then loved. going back home trying to recall what happened when we were together trying to give a reference of a movie mm. they, they watched together I can the man is silent that bond <laughs> now that's the bond i was telling you about I she got attached she felt she felt she really loved this guy this, this she guy does never not loved deserve him. that love he does not oh my god but you know it's a bomber i can just i feel sorry for mary but i'm sorry i'm not laughing at you it's very ironical I, but we cannot avoid laughing <laughs> and stuff yeah yeah there's humor there's some people who everything. don't deserve to be loved totally and also you really don't have to which world but don't cast him don't cast him some i'm on i'm on his side because also the girl was there it, that was too fast for her as well she should have waited why did he accept do you know that they are more no no no, no, no. <laughs> are you sure i'm very no, I'm, I'm really, really i doubt sure. i doubt they are very if they it's a hundred out of a hundred percent it should be maybe like so you mean for them they take in any trash or anything? any trash any trash i think men are, are just out you know that common talk like men are loose Ha, huh, please men help us there. <laughs> send us an <laughs> just send messages blasting. Me. Send us messages on our WhatsApp number. Tell us what Mary can do or what Mary can go can actually rely on to make sure she retains her relationship. Probably they reconcile together with a boy, with a guy. And do you really accept that you lose, you're taking anything? <laughs> Liz is the one who has said it. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, our I set number is right that. on your TV screen. You can send us a message. Don't call. We are not able to pick any calls. Yes, our line is re very, very buzzing, but we can't pick any calls. Send us a message, either if it's not a WhatsApp message, a general message just on the line. We shall read it later on in the show. You can as well uh, go on to our Facebook page. Our topic is already there. Give us any advice. Um, anything you'd love to say about a topic of discussion or use our um, social media platform for the TV, Record TV Network, mm -hmm. Uganda Limited. The topic is already there and for those who've commented, thanks so much. We love mm -hmm. it and yeah. we shall um, share your views <coughs> right um, about some, some few minutes later on. Yes, mm -hmm. back to the later. Mm -hmm. Mary the is later. crying. She's cursing herself terribly that she might have done something bad. She definitely she, you, did. you can't imagine after doing something. I will something not lie to her that she did something then, good. <laughs> she did something bad. She rushed first and she foremost. She rushed. And I know, you know, the body, you know, the body can also... Uh, demand. Eh? Demand, but it's also... also demanding. But again, it demanding. demands on to But me, you like, if I conclude for Mary, I think Mary should just forget about this guy. 
this guy is not about to come back to her. Oh, please. Yes. Not because even something she did nasty that like she Like what? Exactly. That, that, like, now, is no. she ready to go through all those... Th she, 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 she's going to keep guessing and guessing and trust me. There's, no one, there's mm -hmm. no one perfect in any kind of relationship. That's why I agree yes. that this relationship is right at the point where it can be mend. Oh, Julia, how? Just tell me, how? Because... How, how is she going to do it? Like, is she going to, to... Okay, she knows the guy's place. Is she going to go and, and say... What did I do nasty the other time when we did it? What, what was nasty? You know, you might never know what and went wrong. And then push him even further. You might never know what went wrong mm. because the guy has not come out to actually say that this and this yeah, happened. And that so that puts her in the safe zone. You get? Mm -hmm. She's very so. safe because even if the guy is, is maybe would reach an extent of wanting to come no, up with something. There's an issue I didn't get. Are they in touch, like really in touch? Like is there something that, do they ever talk like a bitch? There's nothing like communication. From that day, that very From day, that the next day, day they had. That's what they have. like communication. The guy receives the messages and does not respond. Oh my God. Julie, you know what I'm talking about. This guy is gone. He's gone. Let her just try to move on and mend her heart. I know she loves him, like she has said, but nothing to do. Trust me. Let her just continue with her heart. Nothing her. is impossible. I know nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. But, but uh, and this is the kind I of relationship. Not, I, I don't want to sugarcoat for mm. her. Because here, okay, much as we give advice on the show and we consult people, but we don't want to lie to them. Yes. Yeah. So I, I will not sugarcoat that he's. Yeah, you may be on, you, I know, maybe you have something to tell her for hope. Of course. For hope's sake. Of but course, me, I am telling her that the guy has moved on. The guy yeah. hasn't yet moved on, dear. <laughs> <laughs> the guy hasn't yet moved on. You know, there's a lot that you're supposed to do. Much as he has not come out to tell you that this really happened. No, I swear, Julie, so I want to hear from you because you my to is is also in the same situation. Make sure that you try your level best to find out what the problem could be. Well, it will be very absurd just in case um, you just lie back. Mm. You know, you lay back yourself and feel like you're deserted, the man mm. doesn't love you. Mm. He might also be asking himself such questions. He doesn't understand, you know? Understand, yeah. try to understand the relationship first. What really happened? What, what really? inspired? Mm. I mean, what I'm, I'm, I would mm. advise Mary is, is to, to go through this, that is the process of being hurt is another one. Yes. The healing process is also another one. Mm. And it's better she starts the healing process. Like, let me give her that, that hope that there's a healing process. She wants to find out what really went wrong. Oh my God, I yeah. wish I could talk to the boy. <laughs> what the really case? went wrong? You <laughs> know, at times most of them even don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. You just find yourself, ah, someone is reading the same situation you're in and you say, could my ex be the, the one, one who wrote this later <laughs> just on TV? Oh, I just hope he's watching. <laughs> if he's watching, it's, then... He knows he's hurting a soul somewhere. Yeah, it's very yeah. unfortunate that um, things are happening that way because it's a time when someone is supposed to enjoy their time of being yeah. together and stuff like mm. that. It's very unfortunate. Welcome back, beautiful sounds of Enrique Ignatius going out to you, Isaac Uthimbi. You're the one who requested for that song. You actually sent us a message last week on the show, and we promise you that the show, will, I mean that song will be played on the show today, and I hope you really enjoy that music video. Going out to whoever who is watching the show, I hope you enjoyed. Quite amazing sh a song, very emotional. What can I say? It's a beautiful one. Well... At this time, I want to take you through the messages you've sent. Responding on the letter of Mary, Mary is crying so much to be given advice. And this one says, please, you guys should take this right. This was just a nighttime enjoyment, not building a relationship. And please, not all men are loose. <laughs> They're responding to you. <laughs> <laughs> Not fit, <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't say all of them. I said yes. there's a percentage. There's a percentage that is moved. And, I didn't and, say and it continues <laughs> that Na fit, no. Na fit, no. we don't take trash unless a man is local. Yeah, Please I think that one is among the, 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 
that one is among the percentage that I talked about, yes. that little percentage. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that they are not, unless if the man is local. I didn't say all of them are lost. I said a percentage, and they are few. They are, they are very good yes. men, by the way. This one says, thanks for the show, and, and you're saying, um, you're very grateful. Thanks for the show. I'm Frank Xavier. Xavier. Thank you so much for the message. This one says, thanks for the show. You didn't leave your name. Thanks for the show, my love. We are mm. welcome. Thanks so much for sending the message. Um, hey, it's Martin. Love you, dear friends. I love your program. Thank Play you. for me in Kwa Gala by radio. <laughs> I love that oh please, too, it's way. a beautiful one, but we don't play such music on this show. You will watch Katogo, maybe. Well, this one says, it should be between four to six months. I'm Lydia from Entebbe. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lydia, thank you so much. Six, four mm -hmm. months, six. So, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, it's that's somehow reasonable. It's, it's, yeah, it depends really, uh, anyway, because yeah. I've seen those that even take a year. Mm. This one says, hey, thanks for the program. I'm Peter. Peter, thank you. Uh, we've seen your message. Hey, guys, you're smart. Thank Please, you. in your show, create time for callers who are single and searching things. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, um, <laughs> calling. Uh, I don't think calling, but calling anyway, is, we shall think about yeah, that. Shall think about I'm it. really loving your message to the whole. I'm really loving your message to the whole public. I really need your views. I've been in a relationship. Okay. Yes, we shall read this and we shall try to engage you probably next week and yeah. see whether we can solve your problem. Thanks so much. There's another one also who sent on our Facebook page. Yes. You have an issue. We shall look into that. And probably next week we shall be dealing with your problem. I met a girl for the first time and we had sex. <laughs> This is so amazing, I swear. First time. <laughs> yes, and we had sex. What was the implication? Please answer me. Was she in love with me or not? Now that confuses men. Totally. And so because men usually, they, it's not like, I didn't say like they are very loose. They are loose, yeah? Mm. But sometimes they go, they, they want connection. Yeah? But they're also they scared want that once you give in. Men, 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 men need a challenge too. <laughs> they need a challenge. The more you delay, the more they chase you. They love that. Yeah, they, they might be. Yes, don't be surprised that um, your girlfriend loves you so much. It's contradictory, by the way. <laughs> contradictory, but men are like that. Ah, uh, Dave, your message is so long. <laughs> anyway, let me try to read it. During um, a make love in a new relationship depends on the couple. And I believe, please, whoever is calling, please help us. We shall not pick the call. Yes, this one says um, it depends on the couple. I believe making love could come later after knowing your partner. However, some relationships are not mm. depending on love. Yes, this is Dev trying mm. to tell us, on depending on love, but they, the last. That's why they take first steps to think about sex. But my view is let the couple first study each other before they get into yes. making love. That's true, true love waits. Uh, the duration That's of good. understanding each other is what is needed most. Dev, thank you so that much. Was the best That's so a beautiful, far. beautiful message. Yes, this one says, I should wait up to when she or he is ready with mm. everything. Thanks for the show, much love. Yes, Edrin, mm. the message we've received the message. Maybe he wanted just to use her, but not to be with her. That's so it. I advise her to be patient. Maybe he may come back Let if her go the he is process. really meant to meant for her. That's what that one says. I love your show, ladies. I love your music. I love your mm -hmm. looks. Beautiful show. Thank you so much. I'm Kansime G. Kansime, thank you so much. We appreciate. <laughs> yeah, we, we appreciate to love Kansime so much. Yes. It's the heartbeat. Would you read that message? Mm? Liz, don't what? disappoint me. No, I will go ahead. No, I'm just, I'm just in shock. Okay, I'm just looking at no, the message and I'm wondering, oh my God, how could I even read it? No, it wasn't that. bad. I was just giving you a chance to read. You guys, it's not all about how long it's about the love in there. Someone can wait for what you call the right time and then she or he does the same. We appreciate. Thank you so much. Our WhatsApp group is very, very active and... Um, I have my namesake here saying, sorry Mary, that is too bad and very painful, but take the breath and move on. He's just a slut. 
<laughs> oh my just God, a boy, a boy with not a, a gentleman. <laughs> well, that is Juliet. Thank you so much. And Faith says, Mary, about, sorry, Mary, about that, but she hurried to give in the cookie. Yeah. <laughs> the cookie. But you can't blame her, things happen. <laughs> Thank cookie. you so much, Faith. And thanks so much for watching. Juliet is asking for Adele's song, saying hello. Oh. Maybe we shall have that one on yeah, our next so. show. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Mm. And um, Hakim. Yes, Hakim, your message is so long. Thanks for the show, my love. I'm Hakim Lanky is my name, watching from Nankulavie. Oh. Um, thinking it should be some good time, probably a eh, yeah. Oh. Yes, that's a man saying that's that. A man. <laughs> wow, he's among the percentage I talked about. I love, I love that. So so <laughs> thanks for the show um, um, from Intinda. Yes, your messages are so many and time has really caught us. Yes. Relationship without making love is usually considered as sided. And this one is Stella. Stella, thank you so much. Messages are really, really many mm. and time is really... <laughs> Oh my god. The it's producer is chasing us from uh, the studio. This one says, Hi, I'm Ken. Um, play Thank by Dido. Yes, we shall also have that on our <laughs> next show. Messages are so many, but thank you so much. Keep them mm -hmm. coming, stream them. Yes, we shall read them maybe next week on our second show. But we are grateful that you've been part of the show. Last word, just briefly, briefly. For Mary. I'll just tell Mary to, mm. to go through the healing process. I'll stick to my word. That's it. Go through the healing process. Forget about the man. Move on. I like that. Yes, Mary, you just have to be patient. Okay, give it some little time. Being patient is not bad, but how long would you still hold that? Well, me, I know hope is still there. You still have more time to really talk about with the boyfriend and find out how you can rebounce or bring back that kind of relationship. It was so amazing. You missed out quite a lot. That's the feel that I got from you. I'm not saying that, yes, I've sneaked into the relationship and how it would have been. It's a great pleasure having you part of the show Heartbeat. My name is Judy with my co-host Liz. We are grateful for you who has been watching. And uh, we want to leave you with a beautiful song coming in from the Maroon 5. It's a wonderful one that you're going to enjoy but why don't you have a very amazing or oh, a good night we have a bulletin at the top of the hour with blessing it's going to take you into the nine o'clock news but for now with all the entire team alan in control room and alan <laughs> producer that is sam chibuka we love you so much yes please take care and have a good night <laughs>